Hi, I'm Myra Kornfeld. I'm a cookbook author and cooking instructor, and I have lots of tips and recipes to make your cooking life a whole lot easier. Today, we're going to make steamed sautéed vegetables. Now, this is one of my favorite ways to get vegetables on the table quickly. Everything is done in one pot. You need to use a skillet with sides. You'll put your liquid, your vegetable, and fat all at the same time. We'll cover it, steam the vegetable first, then uncover and let the vegetable cook in the fat. This dual technique is a technique that you use with firm vegetables, ones that you can't just throw in the pan that to saute. Or Today, we're going to do green beans, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. But this is equally good with carrots, broccoli, going into summer and spring, sugar snap peas and snow peas. It's good for squash. It's good for all hard root vegetables. So this first sample is with green beans. So garlicky green beans with olive oil. A splash of olive oil, tablespoon or two, water. You need about a quarter to a third of a cup. We want to put in our salt. And if you have any spices or aromatics, you put that in right now. Since these are going to be garlicky green beans, we're putting in the garlic. I cover this and let it steam for about two, three minutes. So this is steaming away. You can see the water is cooking. And you want to cook it at this first stage just until it's almost tender. This was about a minute. We need about two minutes more. That was about a minute for the water to cook up, and now we can saute in the oil and garlic. And this is a way to keep your vegetables re with really good color. Gar with this method, the garlic flavor really infuses well into the vegetables because it's been steaming with them, and now it gets this end saute. You just go for a little color. For this cauliflower, I'm using as my fat a mix of coconut oil and ghee. I have the water in there, now the salt. I'm also stirring in some yellow mustard seeds, some curry powder, and a little ginger. So all of, all of these flavors are going to really go into the cauliflower. Medium heat, just until the liquid is bubbling. This is after two minutes. It's not ready yet. These are still a little firm, but I'm going to give it a stir to get everything mixed. Oh, this looks great. It's perfectly cooked, so now most of the liquid has already been evaporated out, so I'm ready to saute here and just get everything coated, and it's good to go. When you want to use fresh herbs, sprinkle them in at the end to keep them nice and bright. So now I have Brussels sprouts, I have water, my fat is going to be butter, sprinkling of salt, and I'm using a tablespoon of caraway seeds in this first part. Now I'll get these steamed and we'll finish them off with something special. These Brussels sprouts are ready for the next step. A little bit of grainy mustard, Dijon is also good, and a little touch of maple syrup. And then stir this in just to give them a lovely glaze, a lovely mustardy glaze. Which the black pepper, and we're good to go. It's so nice to know there's lots of different methods for you to get vegetables on the table every night without a lot of hassle. This is one of my favorites, and I hope you like it too.